Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for coming to the show today. Man, it is really cold out there today, so I hope you like my sequin jacket. I'm so stylish. Anyway, for this episode today, I have a Valentine's Day thing for us to do. I bought a wooden love sign from the Dollar Tree and I thought we could decorate it together with the kids. So let's jump in and do it. All right, everybody, to start this project, I got this wooden love sign from the Dollar Tree for, you know, $1.25. And then I got some red paint from there in the shade of Scarlet, and I love it. I love the shade, I just think it's so pretty. I think it's perfect for my kitchen. So I painted that, and then now, since it's dry, I wanna decorate it. And I think this will be something that you guys can do with the kids. So I just have this glitter tape, okay? And I already cut it to the size that I needed. can see it or not okay and then I just have to trim that little part right there off my scissors are in the other room so here's the L oh is that air bubble okay that's better all right for the next part I have this pearl ribbon and I'm going to glue that down. I've already pre-cut a couple of pieces, but it's not um, exact. Probably going to have to do that again because it probably dried. Oh, not too bad. Okay. So I just want to let that dry for a little bit and then I'm going to trim these edges and come back in with just a little bit of this bead beadwork. Okay, so I cut the little pieces. I'm ready to, ready to go ahead and put them down. All right, good enough. Now we'll do this one. Okay. 
Well, that's not really how I planned it out, but that's all right. It'll still work. All right, so then we just need to trim. That little piece is just gonna piss me off, so. Just going. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Okay guys, for your animal fact today, I wanna to tell you something about snails and their sleep schedules, okay? I mean, who thinks about this stuff really? But I guess I do. Anyway, so snails have a really weird sleep pattern. It's not even a pattern, they're kind of manic. So they can sleep for, you know, a couple of hours and then stay awake for like 30 hours. That's kind of cool. But also when they feel like they need to self-preserve, you know, like they just really need some self-care, they can go to sleep and hibernate for three freaking years. Years. Who sleeps for three years? I don't even think a bear does that, do they? I don't know. Maybe, nah, not that long. Anyway, that's a hell of a nap. I bet they are super hungry when they wake up. Now, I wanna use this red, what does it say? Extreme glitter, whatever, whatever. And I'm gonna put that on this E, all right? So I've already put a little bit in the cap. Probably not the best idea, but there it is. Now I've used this particular glitter paint before. And what I learned is that you have to be really generous with it for it to show up. Now, if you hear a, a weird uh, wheezing sound, you may have heard that before. That is Fifi. She's laying right here next to me sleeping, and she does snore. <laughs> I will be honest, though. It's one of my favorite sounds to sleep to. I just find it very soothing. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And while it does, <clears throat> we're gonna take our Mod Podge and we're gonna start putting these little metallic, little whatevers on this here. On this here, okay. And I have these little cutout ones. Oh, I really hope these um, Mod Podge things dry clear. And then I'm just gonna continue going around with the hearts in the various uh, sizes. And then I also have these little, I can't even show you because they're so tiny, but they're little tiny solid red hearts. I am still working on the heart um, little cutouts, but this red glitter is dry. I don't know if you can see it, but barely. That's why I wanna go over it again. So that's what we're gonna do now. Give it another hefty coating. Oh, my brush is all hard and gross now. Okay, the hearts are done. Can you see them? And then the E is pretty much done. I am just gonna go ahead and give it one final coat here. So that'll be three coats. And then after that, I think I'm gonna call it. So with that being said, I wanna thank you guys as always for coming to the show. 
I hope that this was something that you found you could do with the kids. Uh, that was kind of the point of doing this one because it is relatively simple, but you know, it could be a nice little bonding moment with your kid. And who knows, you know, it might spark some kind of creativity into them that, you know, they want to start doing some cool stuff too. Anyways, love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you on the next one. So this is the finished product. And I wanted to show you guys that I did redo the pearl with these crystal gems because I like how it looks better.